Nobel BioCare is committed to the American Academy of Periodontology. We are proud to partner with an organization that is so aligned with our goal of improving patients' lives. And Pam, if I can also add to that, there are so many more women that are entering the specialties in dentistry. Overall, we have more women in dentistry and many more are starting to want to advance their careers, they're wanting to enter the specialties. So as part of our commitment to diversity, this is a very important mission for us. For our company, to just touch on that, diversity matters for every company. You know, it's diversity of thought, it's diversity of gender, and it actually leads to better outcomes for all companies. And I am personally committed to changing the face of Nobel BioCare and making sure that we are reflective of, of the population, the fastest growing population in dentistry is women. And doing that not only for Nobel, but across Invista, which is our parent company. This is a very important mission that we begin to look like our own customers and change the face of our company. I am uh, actually I'm new to this industry. Um, I have only been in, in the dental industry for two years, coming out of a long career in healthcare. And quite frankly, I was surprised to see so few women, not only in our company, but in our, in our customers. So I am really excited to say that my journey, while here, albeit a short one, uh, I started with Cavo Kerr, I started a women's connected network, changed the face of women, and with our CEO, Amir Agdai, also committed to this. One year later, I was really thrilled to see women executives besides me join the company at the top. And I'm looking forward to continuing on that journey because it matters. I started my dental career in the day when there were very few women. So I was one of only four or five women in my dental class um, when I was going through it. So maybe I'm aging myself, but um, that's when I started. And it was very challenging, you know, being a minority within that huge, you know, class of dentists that were going through. And then as I decided to specialize and become a prosthodontist, the number of women um, in the specialties was even less than as a general dentist. So I've personally experienced the challenges that one goes through in terms of, you know, just when you think about your practice and your day-to-day -day schedule. At the end of the day, you can't stick around for the study clubs and you can't stick around for the rep meetings. You, know, you need to get home, you need to pick up your kids from school, you need to make dinner for your family. So just really understanding that work-life balance. I think one of my own personal goals is to be a role model for the younger generation coming up. I know many women that feel they have to make that choice between whether they have their career or their family. And I want to be that role model and I want to let people know that it's completely possible to have both. So that's what I hope to achieve in my career as I move forward and has an in inspiring other people. I do want to add, it is possible to have both. It's not easy. Yes. And it's really important to know what your boundaries are. When to say yes, when to say no, and to make it clear for everyone around you. So women typically hold themselves back. If you look at your male counterparts and you look at a job that's been posted, a male, no disrespect to all the men out there, this is, this is not a bad thing, will say, I can do that job. I might not have everything I need at this moment in time, but I know myself and I can do that job. And women look at the job description and say, I don't have this or I don't have that. So we really need to encourage women and, and tell our inner selves, you don't have to have everything. You have all the skills necessary but you, you won't know it until you do it. So you have to take that big leap into the next level of your career. What are your thoughts on that? 
Um, I, I think that was a great example, bringing the business aspect of it. And I think the same thing from a clinical standpoint. You know, we see women that feel that they can't get involved in higher treatments or more advanced treatments. You know, you question yourself as a clinician, can I do that? Whereas all the men, as you said, will jump right in, they'll take some education and they're able to just have that confidence to move forward. I think one of the key elements when you are afraid and you're trying to deal with that fear is to surround yourself with other women that can support you. Find yourself a role model of someone that's actually gone through mm -hmm. that process. So whether that's advancing your education, becoming a periodontist, or whether that's doing more aggressive treatments in your practice, find those mentors around you. Other women that have done it, have forged the path, and they're the people that'll help you through. Thank you.